Good boy, Rowan. Hey guys, it's Ginger on Wheels here again. I'm in North Carolina and we're gonna be testing this ultra small, lightweight, super cheap scooter. It's called the Isin Wheel S9 Pro. And it actually is the lightest scooter I've ever picked up. So let's roll the intro and I'll tell you more about it. Okay, so this is it up close. This is the Isin Wheel S9 Pro, and I guess it's a great wheel for people who don't go to church. If you're a sinner, this is your uh, wheel of choice. I have no idea why they named it that, but that is what it is. I swear scooter names are getting weirder and weirder, but Hi Boy still is at the top of the list. <laughs> That's my sister, she's walking her dog. We're gonna actually try and attempt to uh, walk the scooter, or walk the dog with the scooter. So we'll see how it goes. But I wanna do a walk around first and show you what it's like. And that's how easy you can whiskey throttle your scooter. Let's uh, go ahead and turn it off. Okay, so it's a very basic scooter, as you can see, I'm sure you know. If you look at any of the other videos on this channel, there's only like one or two that are this small and slow. But it only weighs 28 pounds. I don't know how that's possible. It's just a really small battery, but great scooter for short commutes or for walking your dog, or if you just need to putt to the mailbox and back. Anyway, we got some grips here. It's got the thumb throttle basically looks exactly the same as the nine bot max just scaled down a little bit um, this plastic thingy though and this plastic hook is how you fold the scooter they're very cheap feeling plastic I don't like that but one thing I do like is that it has solid uh, not exactly solid they're honeycomb 8.5 inch tires so you can't get flat tires very low maintenance little machine. It has a 36 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery. So it's about half the battery size of the nine bot max, but that's what, that's what keeps it so light. Like I can pick it up with one hand. The rear fender back here, I do like that it's long enough to deflect water, but it's not meant to act as one of those brakes that you step on. It's just a fender and it's made of plastics, reinforced with little metal brackets, but you know, it could be better, I feel like. Let's go ahead and take this off, Ooh, brand new. So this scooter, when I got it, it came with this cool little ice in wheel scooter pouch. It'd be great for holding like a couple drinks and some tools or, you know, uh, I was gonna say your, your tire pump, but you don't need that on this one. Phone maybe, whatever goodies you might have. Has a headlight in the front here and it does have app integration. If you download an app called Mini Robot, you can check out other like detailed specs on the scooter and turn off features like cruise control or um, auto start. You can turn that on and off too, but it has two brakes. There's one disc brake actuated here and located in the back. And then it has an electronic brake right here. So when you're rolling and you hit this, it'll use an electronic brake in the front motor, which they claim has electronic EBS and it actually acts as a, res a regenerative brake too, but probably not that much power coming back since the scooter's so light. It's really easy to fold, I like that. You just, like with one hand in five seconds, you can fold it down. But like I said, the little clasp back there is plastic, so don't go chucking it around, but be really easy and fast to get up and down stairs with if you need to, or if you just want to put it in the back seat of a car. This is like one of the most compact scooters. Another cool thing about it, rear suspension. Yeah, the scooter costs $3.99 and there's a coupon on Amazon right now for 60 bucks off. So it comes to $340. Don't ask me how that's possible. And that includes shipping with Prime. It's definitely one of the cheaper scooters out there, but let's hop on and see how it rides, shall we? All right, so we're gonna hop on this thing and catch up to my sister and her dog. And we're gonna see if we can walk the dog on a scooter. Because I'm in North Carolina, I'm visiting her and I have this scooter shipped here. And when I go home, I'm gonna leave it here with her. So this will be hers. And she's hoping that she can use it to walk the dog. She's got a very, very hyper little uh, golden retriever. Cutest dog in the world though, actually. Like I'd bet money on it. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, we have a bell. Little analog bicycle type bell. This is the throttle, like I said, over here on the right. And it's got an electronic brake. Oh, did you hear the beep beep? That's the cruise control. It's locked on to 15 miles per hour, which is the top speed with me on it. I'm 220 pounds, which is the max weight limit for this scooter. Hello, pleasure seeing you here. This is Rowan, our puppy. Cutest boy in the world. We're gonna see if he knows how to uh, walk next to a scooter. All right, okay, let's see how he does. Come on, Rowan, let's go. Great scooter for walking your dog. <laughs> if you're okay riding with one hand. Come on, baby boy. He's getting tired already. Good boy. Good boy, Rowan. It works. You can walk your dog with the scooter. Might take practice for you and the dog, but it is doable. And I wouldn't recommend doing it on any busy streets or if you're not proficient riding the scooter yet, definitely get good at riding it first. 
Okay, I never even showed you how to turn on the scooter. I assume you know everything about scooters like me. Push this button right here. It just has one button and you're on. It's probably really hard to see this uh, LCD. It is hard to see in the sun. You know, cheap scooter, cheap LCD. What are you gonna do? Um, once it's on, you can maybe see there's a red S. That means we're in sport mode. If I double click the button, now it's in green, which stands for eco, and then red, which is sport. There's two modes in the scooter, it looks like. That's the throttle. Push the throttle down gently to begin scooting. It says on the website that it has anti-lock brakes or EBS, electronic braking system, but that only applies for the front motor. The rear motor, which is, has a disc brake in it, you can obviously skid the rear tire. And since it's a solid tire, you don't want to do that because it'll create a little flat spot on the tire that you feel every time it goes around. It'll go dump, 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 dump. It's annoying. So braking on this scooter, like I said, I'm the max weight limit and uh, it leaves much to be desired. Here we are at the top speed. 15 miles an hour and I'm gonna let off the throttle and slam on the brakes and we can see how long it takes to stop right from the sign it's full breakage full brakes so from that sign to here that's probably 15 20 feet not great at all it is very very lightweight which is one of the main selling points of it and it is extremely maneuverable I will say hi Rowan one other cool thing on this scooter that I wouldn't expect at this price point is these little green gasket things here. They're rubber grommets to prevent water ingress. They actually plug up the holes where the cables run through. Pretty cool. The headlight is fixed though. I don't like scooters where the headlight's fixed. That means when you turn the bars, the headlight stays in the direction that the scooter is pointed. But I want the headlight to point in the direction I'm going. So if I turn right, I want to be able to see to the right, but this will point straight. So like the headlight is a little bit delayed. Let's check out some of these North Carolina fire ants. Apparently these things are everywhere and very painful. Should we get bit by some? That'd be fun. Let's see how painful fire ants actually are. Oh God, oh God. Okay, that's enough, Ryan. Ow! Okay, yep. Now they're on my leg, great. <laughs> oh, in the glove too, that they go in. I'm new at ants. Don't touch those, but that was fun. <laughs> Kinda. When in Rome, we went to a, a gator park earlier today, and I will say we did see one gator. I'm gonna hop on one of our bigger scooters and probably an e-bike in the next video, and we're gonna go check out some gators. So subscribe to the channel if you like alligators. <laughs> Let's see how the suspension does on little bumps like this driveway crack. Mm. Yeah, solid tire in the front, you can definitely feel that. If you lift the front up a little bit and then roll the rear tire over an obstacle, it's a lot less jarring, but the suspension is a cool feature, it just doesn't do a whole lot. Man, check out how maneuverable this thing is. It's so lightweight. This is an excellent scooter for new scooter riders or little kids even. Just crazy. The handling is really good on these solid tires too. Do not attempt to ride solid tire scooters in the rain though, or over like wet paint or sewer grates. Like it's extremely slippy out in these tires. That is the one downside to solid tires. I maybe should have mentioned in the beginning of the video. They're excellent because you never get flats and they're really low maintenance, but in the wet conditions or if it gets a little bit sketchy and like with bumps and stuff, they don't do too well. They'll get really slippery in the wet and the handling around bumps is just no good. These tires, they have a honeycomb design which means there's little holes in them and so the tire can compress a tiny bit but it's so negligible it's like not even worth mentioning let's test out our electronic brake i'm going to get up to top speed and then just hit the electronic brake and we can compare it to what it was like with the uh, disc brake which was about 15 20 feet let's go from this black mailbox on the right i'll hit the e-brake and see how long it takes to stop e-brake oh man barely anything hello are we we're braking is this the brake i can barely feel it I'm um, gonna go, <laughs> it's like a 40 foot stop on flat. So downhill, you definitely need to use both brake. So if you wanna use the e-brake, it's just this. If you wanna use the e-brake and the disc brake, it's this. So you're always using the e-brake, whether you like it or not. Good boy, Rowan. So we're not gonna do a range test on the scooter, but what I will tell you is that it has a 7.5 amp hour battery, which is half the size of the 9Bot Max. So if you go to my 9Bot Max range test video, you'll be able to see how much range that got, and you can just divide it by two, and it'll be really close to the range on this thing. The scooter is a tiny bit lighter, so you might get a couple more miles of range, but it's not gonna be significant. Can you hear that gripping on the tires? can actually hear the tires gripping the road. It's cool. Another downside about solid tires is they wear down pretty quick if you're taking uh, hard turns and they are really hard to change out. Like it's sometimes, in some cases, it's actually easier to change the whole motor out. Very maneuverable. 
Something that I think is also worth mentioning is that if you have the uh, kickstart turned off, which I don't recommend on this thing, it's really easy to hit the throttle and whiskey it, like but little tiny baby movements of the throttle and it's gone. So if you're like trying to, you know, move the scooter around with your hands like this and you accidentally clip the throttle, it'll it'll just go. I don't whiskey throttle scooters much, but I've done it like three times on this scooter already just because this throttle's so sensitive. We've gone about maybe three miles and I can feel there's significantly less torque. Like the scooter might already be getting close to dead. It says three out of five bars, but I've learned in my day never to trust the battery gauges on the display. So we're gonna open up the app and we're gonna see how much percent the app says we have. So the app is called Mini Robot. It searches automatically for your scooter. Oh, you found me. But it's got features on the app here. You can turn on and off cruise control. You can turn on and off the headlight remotely from the app. You can lock and unlock the scooter. So if it's locked, it actually puts the e-brake on full. I don't know if you can hear it, it's beeping. And you can't push the scooter. It tries to stay where it is. So you can park it outside stores and if someone tries to wheel off with it, it'll beep away and it'll actually lock the front tire more or less. But let's turn that lock off. And you can switch between sport and comfort mode or eco. But it's got other settings in here that you can see. Like a cruise control, we can turn it on and off here. Cruise condition speed, so the cruise won't lock on if you're under a certain miles per hour. Um, and then you can change the top speed of sport mode. So if you only want your kids to go 10 miles an hour, but you want them to think it's in sport mode, you can uh, limit the value here to 10 miles per hour. So one thing on these scooters that I like to test is durability and it's painful to watch but it needs to be done because for 340 bucks it seems like this thing would just break immediately but let's go ahead and send it it's cruise controls on just crashed itself we're gonna do that like three or four times and see if it still works yep there's two still works there a lot of time the uh, throttle sensor will break or the screen will stop working if you crash them like that so one more Oh no, I crashed my scooter. That still works. So you can crash it a few times and it won't break. Let's carve and cruise and catch up to Christine. Where'd she go? Oh, gravel. Gotta be very careful. Solid tires get slippy in the gravel, even if it's just some pea gravel in the road. Let's see, we're locked in top speed now with our 50% battery. Our top speed is now 13 miles per hour. I love cruising back and forth on this thing. Come on, love. Yes. Yes. Do you love it? Come on, this is kind of just awesome. I wonder if he'll go super fast. Oh, wow. Good job, bro. He's following me. This is going to be nice for in the mornings before work. I can just run him around the block, take five minutes, mile and a half, and he'll sleep all day. Right? You want to do this in the morning? Get some good cardio? Yes. All right, well, you saw it firsthand. The Isin Wheel S9 Pro is a great dog walking scooter. It's super lightweight, maneuverable, so you can like get out of the way or, you know, turn if you need to catch up with your dog or make sure he's not behind you. Um, the dog's not trained. This is a new scooter rider and it works great. Yeah, I like that was amazing. This is, I think, my legitimate first scooter ride. And it was his, my dog's second. I thought we were gonna crash. For sureies. Um, it wasn't that bad, but we could go really fast or really slow, obviously. And I feel like we'll be able to go forever. He'll get all his exercise. I can get fat and happy. That's a win-win-win in America. Yeah, and for 340 bucks. Like, I don't yeah. know if you can actually beat that. If I hired a dog walker, like 20 bucks a day, that's 100 bucks a week. By the end of the month, I'm paying for this thing. The scooter pays for itself. So I think that's all we need to do about the scooter. It's pretty lightweight, fun, durable, and cheap. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video where we are going to go to Gatorland and try and ride around and see some alligators on this uh, e-bike we've got in here and the Kyugu Kirin Q06 Pro. So stay tuned.